Thank you to Foggy's followers who submitted questions for this Q&A with Foggy's PA. Most of them all had the same theme and it was all what impact are we making um, as Emmy Foggy Dog. So that's what this video is all about. Um, a lot of people that might think it's just a soft toy going on travels might have their eyes opened during this. You'll see just how much work we are doing. We as in me. I don't have any volunteers or help with Foggy. Uh, it's all me. Um, so let's get started. So it's very difficult to measure how much awareness we're raising. Awareness is not education. Awareness is just you've read something and you might take it in. Um, so the only thing we can actually measure is the amount of money we've raised. And as you all know, I beat myself up because I want to raise millions. I don't want to raise a couple of thousand, but um, that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? People don't understand the need to donate. So not only am I raising awareness of the condition, I'm raising awareness of the desperate need for donations. Um, so since 2014, Foggy has raised over £10,000 for the ME Association. I specified that that money had to go towards biomedical research and that means it probably ended up at the Cure ME team, ME CFS Biobank anyway. Um, and then last September, I decided to change the beneficiary and we are now donating straight to Cure ME, not a separate charity and then having the funds redirected. Um, so over £10,000 for the ME Association. And so far, up to today, we've raised £1,617 for Cure ME. That's the whole of Team Foggy as a whole, because we have got one fundraiser who's doing physical challenges for Foggy. So that's not bad. We're in, what, October now? Um, we've still got a long way to go. £1,617 isn't bad. Um, so in terms of awareness, to do that awareness raising, Foggy has over 9,000 Foggy followers online. Now, I know it's no way near in the league as influencers, but you need to remember, people that have engaged with Foggy want to learn about ME or have got ME themselves. Um, it's not just a random that's followed for the sake of it. It's people that actually want to engage. So, a third of those are ME patients. The two thirds aren't. So I'm reaching two thirds of 9,000. I'm not doing the math because my brain is hurting today. Um, and on average, on Twitter, our monthly reach on average is 120,000 impressions. Happy with that. Um, so thank you everybody that shares, retweets, likes, comments, um, shares the love because you help to achieve that. Um, so that's social media, that's slowly growing, so that's good, that's just slowly, slowly, which is the best way to do social media, um, because you get real engagement rather than just people following you for the sake of it. In terms of TV and radio, I since 2014 I've been on BBC South Today, BBC Radio Solent, Express FM, um, and so through those, uh, Express FM I've been on twice, BBC Radio Solent four times I think, um, I've reached well over 750,000 people. There is no way of knowing whether those people just had the radio on in the background or, or were actually listening to what I was saying, but the potential is to reach over 750,000 people, which I'm very happy with because that's all local, local stuff. That wasn't national TV or national radio. Um, in terms of awareness events, I have spoken to over 300 people face to face. So that is, um, I've done an awareness event at the University of Portsmouth. I've done my unrest screening. That was 140 people. And I've done a training slash awareness event at the University of Portsmouth Dental School. And I've also delivered an awareness slash training event to SILIP, which is the professional body for librarians. And there are about 60 people in the audience there as well. So like I said, that's over 300 people in total. Um, and those people have all said, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was happening. I knew about ME, but I didn't know it was that. So I know that I was raising awareness. So at minimum 300 people I know I have enlightened. Um, so online press, so online newspapers and printed newspapers. 
I've been in numerous local newspaper articles in my local paper. Um, I've also been online in the Star and Crescent, which is Portsmouth's online newspaper. The good thing about the Star and Crescent is once you get the link, you can share it absolutely anywhere. So during Emmy Awareness Week last year, uh, one article reached 83,000 people. That was just what I could measure. Because as you all know, there's a ripple effect with social media. And once it's been retweeted once or twice, you can't track it. It may well have been shared on emails, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever. So there's no way of tracking the exact amount. But as far as I'm aware, the minimum is 83,000. Um, I've written various articles for lots of industry magazines. I've got no idea what their audience figures are. Um, but I would guess uh, maybe another 100,000 people have read those. Um, so that's great. Um, awareness raising in terms of talking to local MPs. I've now spoken to Stephen Morgan MP and Penny Morden MP. Um, both are now hyper aware of what ME is. Stephen Morgan held meetings with Foggy Followers and me in his office. Um, so that was, it wasn't really a raising awareness other than with Stephen Morgan. So that classes as one person. Um, but I brought about the opportunity for a group of Foggy followers to have that conversation. Now, you can, any of you watching this can have your own conversation with your own GP. Uh, please don't think that I'm special in that regard. I still had to contact him and ask for the appointment. Um, but I brought about the meeting and there were, I think there was 12 of us in the group and we were all able to talk about our local provision. So in terms of impact, that counts. Um, Penny Mordant. I've had letters sent to the Education and Health Ministers and Business. Um, so that's also making an impact, but that's stripey as well. So um, the support group that I ran last year, that was making an impact, but for ME patients. Unfortunately, uh, running a face-to-face -face support group for patients who have no idea whether they're going to feel well enough to go simply didn't work in my experience. Although I had over 50 people in the online Facebook group. Um, only a maximum of four ever used to turn up and in the last two meetings, only one person. Now I've got to consider that I've got ME myself. It really wasn't worth spending my energy on. And keeping the online group going was simply another job that I had to do. So that's why I closed it all down. Um, so if any charities are watching this video, I would bear that in mind if you're thinking of doing face-to-face -face support. Um, because if you've got ME, it's a lot of work for one person that you could probably support online. Um, anyway, in terms of impact, that's it. That's what I've been doing on a daily basis since 2014. Um, but what shows me that I'm making an impact is your response to Foggy. Because he is a soft toy. Um, I know he's got devoted followers around the world and I love your messages online. But when you take time out of your day to write me a handwritten letter, like this one, um, I've had 23 of these just since Foggy started in May. Um, and they all tell me that I'm doing an absolutely wonderful job. So when I'm having a, a low day thinking, I'm not making any impact, this is not working. Why am I not raising more money? Um, you know, I, I send emails to businesses and TV, radio, all the time and don't get any responses, but I'm keeping going. And it is a drain on my energy. Please don't think that this is easy. It's not. Um, but these are what make it all worthwhile. All of your messages online, whether that's YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, emailing me directly, contacting me through the website, emmyfoggydog.org, um, whether you it's through you buying merchandise and stuff, talking of which I could make a lot more of an impact if you buy the merchandise. Don't forget Christmas is coming. Um, at least buy a wristband. It's a very good way of raising awareness. And the reason I'm not doing plastic wristbands is because they're not eco-friendly. Um, so the fabric ones are a really good alternative and they're, double, they're printed double-sided. So yeah, well worth buying. Thank you very much for submitting the questions and I hope that I've answered the question well. All right, foggy snogs, take care of yourselves.